can translate that into what is your revenues based on that, right? What is the corresponding cost going to be on your budget to develop it, right? Is there a profit margin in that or not? If not, then you say this is not a good business. Or you will negotiate with the customer and say, you know, this price I can't afford, I don't give you, you know, at a higher price, you know, for me to make a reasonable money. So business and others convert an opportunity into what they commonly call the business case as a way to see whether it makes sense to get into that business model. So generally, that's the kind of work that we do. Any other questions? Sir, sir, can you elaborate on the presentation? I'm sorry? All right. So here you are, um, you know, let's say Ericsson or Alcatel, right? You have this 3G product. You got a base station. Let's say base station. So you have a base station which you can set up. You can set up a tower and antenna and all that. And we go to Airtel, right? Um, Airtel, and we go to Mr. Mitra and say, I will send you this, and you negotiate price with business case and everything. You're done. You say fine. So, uh, we we sign a contract. What you have done is develop a base station, let's say in this case, uh, television, in some lab in Paris. Now they have to bring it and let's say, you know, Airtel wants to start a network in Pune. So they have to create in their manufacturing that product, bring it to, to Pune. Now what is going to be in terms of a handoff? So you know that Alcatel-Wilson has to let Airtel in the years. I'm not saying there is some contract if that's different. Manage that network, become familiar with it, and so on. And also in the Indian environment, not all environment are the same. That product may have some risk of working or not working. I'm just saying some trivial example. Maybe uh, the base station has to be put in a Deccan area, and there's a lot of traffic, and it creates some minor, minor vibration. Right? Something that other television did not test. They don't know. Maybe where they sell previously doesn't have that product. So when you come here, right, they got to adjust their product to the environment and allow the customer, in this case, Airtel, become familiar with it. That part is part of introducing the product, testing the product in front of Airtel people. Part of that is Moha transfer. So Airtel people become familiar with that product because they become familiar with the product. Right? And then they start saying, you know, can I use it or not? They may have to set a set of pilot network, test it out and say how you optimize the network. Because just airway, you can't, you know, doesn't work the first day, you know, you can optimize the All that is part of customer acceptance. And the product companies in this case will be doing the customer testing to show how the system works. So that's part primarily of the robot transfer and allowing air to be Yes? Sir, uh, look at it as Indian organization, they pass that software, they become so much more access. Then, uh, how much? A lot. All of them. So, for example, if TCS is doing business, right, with um, all these other companies, let's say Telecom itself, and like Long time back, I was in Lucent, I was personally involved in setting up the relationship between Lucent and TCS. In that, case, TCS had not So, we signed a contract, right, and say for next year, you know, my business, I'm going to give you this kind of job and so on, and they assign other people to work. You see what is happening in the, you know, around the world, and that happens in every business. We go through a recession, right? When you go to the recession, you know, everybody's budget goes down. And I'm saying psychology. Suppose you are already losing working in Paris, and you have to cut your budget down by a certain percent. That's a percent. Where are you going to cut the budget first? In your parent company in Paris, or some supplier that you have contacted? TCS will come first, and they will. So TCS will get affected if the Alcatel Lucent business goes down. That telescopes into the you know, domino effect into TCS. So tomorrow, and those are all part of contracts which are built in. That this is not that I guarantee a thousand people job. If my you know, business goes down, I will cut your business. So obviously. On the other hand, looking at positivity, Telecom has been one of the most exciting. Even if we have global recession, Telecom has gone faster than almost any industry. TCS is happy. Because today they sign a thousand week contract with the Alcatel Lucent. Next year their business goes up 
CSS is another good way to do this. So is it CSS, for example, I'm taking that as an example, is very affected by what the parent company's business is and similarly what? So, and of course, there are also other things also. How competent these companies are to meet their customer needs. If you're not doing a good job, you'll get affected as well. But if you're doing a great job, you can even work this. These are all dynamics of our organization. Any other questions? Any other clarification on the kind of roles? These are roughly the kind of roles you do as you know, telecom engineers and managers. I'm not putting the hierarchy here. There is a hierarchy in the different divisions. In every organization, you go up the line. And sometimes you go crisscross. You may become manager here, then become a director here, may become you know, CEO there, and so on. Ultimately, as a big picture, CEO has to know what all that is happening. That's it. Any questions, clarifications? All right. So, what are the opportunities in India? Uh, you know, major services expansion is happening. Huge market, CD4D. We are going more into content. Ultimately, customer cares about content, and we have to get into this business or developing products. And otherwise, we'll continue falling behind. We can't rely on the rest of the world to give us product, especially not China. Right? We got to develop our own products. And we have to become uh, you know, suppliers here ahead of technology for this. So summary, it's an exciting place. You can see a fantastic place. It's all there in terms of no other country, except maybe China, has got the kind of growth potential in telecom that we have.